And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the return of Teemo Swain Control. That's right, we have another donation deck to play some Teemo Swain Control. And we're going to be doing that one again. This one we're going with three copies of Tri Beam and Probulator. Um, yeah, this is just a really fun card to play. And I, I do think this card is really strong. I, I have and I think you have to kind of build around it. And this deck is definitely building around it. We have 13 three mana cards, as you can see up here. And if we have the Tribeam and Probulator in hand, each one that we play will increase its, um, its potency or so. Hey, puppy. So we have puppy here, chilling also. Um, but yeah, this deck's definitely fun. I mean, Teemo decks are really fun, especially, so like this deck is, is taking good advantage of Teemo because it's a slower deck. And so you give your opponent more time to draw those puff caps that you're hopefully gonna be giving your opponents. Each puff cap that they draw does help your Swain. It does count towards your non-combat damage to level up your Swain. And when you do have a leveled up Swain, each one that they draw will be stunning, or like whenever they draw, puff caps will be stunning the strongest back row enemy as well. So that's that's pretty good. You know, puff cap peddler is gonna be our main thing that we want this. Give them all these puff caps with all these other cards and so on. So we're gonna go play our five games over in ranked. Looks like we are very close to master's rank. Hopefully we can get there today. What do you think, pup? Think we can get there? Yeah, I think pup's here to, to help out, to help us get there. Um, then we're gonna be trying a couple of, um, we're gonna be trying mid-range frostbite again. Haven't tried that since the new sets come out. Um, basically the only new card for that deck is gonna be troll chant. They can help like culling strikes and stuff like that. Um, I mean, Trundle Aurelian Soul. Uh, I guess I'm gonna keep Leviathan in my opener. Cool, that's good. And then I'm gonna be trying out kind of a new version of Scout Aggro with no War Chefs now. So we have to replace War Chefs. So I was replacing War Chef with Jagged Taskmaster. It's now a two drop. And of course that's a bilge water card. So I'm gonna be moving away from um, Vanguard Bannerman because of that. And then I'm also gonna be playing the four mana Scout as well uh, to get the extra bilge water Scout for four mana, the two four. All right, Teemo's doing it's job. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. I'll have what he's having. It's a good start for us. So Lari Priestess. Sunlight guiding my brethren. So one spell puts Teemo up to 13. If I cast another spell, it puts Teemo up to... Um, there they go. Teemo up to 15 and levels up Teemo. So I guess I'm gonna be casting the Sumpworks map on like the Puffcat Peddler. It's not my best Sumpworks map, but... Well, let's just play the Swain. Glory, courage, excuses for war. The, the, of course, playing the Swain, they can just have, um, okay, cool. They could have Ice Quake. But I would just much, so much rather have this. And so, I didn't get punished by waiting, it looks like. Uh, by playing the Swain first, not by waiting, by, but by playing the Swain first. I just didn't really want the Peddler to have the Sunforks map. Definitely glad no Ice Quake. They have some kind of 8 plus cost card in hand. We do know that. Ooh, wow. Found you. Wow, Hush. Man, every time you see Hush, it's just always a blowout. My collection. Such little lies. I'm sorry, Timo. Yeah, and then the spacey sketcher to go along with the hush. One star's is Ouch. Spy. So 
So that hush turned into kill my Teemo and permanent silence my puff cat peddler. So gross. All right, so we're at seven out of twelve. So Noxion Fervor would um, level up Swain. So while I do want to level up Swain, I don't really want to use Noxion Fervor. So we're kind of in a, a in a bind here. It's just a waste of an arachnoid sentry. Hope they don't have another hush. So I'm leveling up Swain. So I can hit them and, and kill all these things. By all these things, I mean just a 4 1 and a 1 1. I will. Looking pretty good here with having these Leviathans help finish this game out. If they have Trundle, we have Death's Hand plus Flock to kill a Trundle. <laughs> these are some sad avalanches. Guessing another I'm guessing an ice quake here. Like they had two trundles in hand, so they have one trundle and then the other is the trundle champion spell. Ah, or that. Yeah, I mean that's That's the way it is. Alright, pretty sure we got this. Yeah. Alright, 1 and 0. Oh. For Teemo Swain Control. Hey, Herod. Welcome. Ooh, we are Master's Rank. We are Master's Rank. All right, Masters rank hype. So we got 15 LP for that win. This is where our number will hopefully just kind of go up from here. All right, same kind of matchup. Similar kind of matchup at least. All right, this time I kept Leviathan last time. I'm gonna mulligan this time. I think Puffcat Peddler and Teemo are the two most important cards. We had to turn one Teemo last time. Especially having the attack token on turn one, I just really want to have Teemo. And so we'll look into all the cards. Not bad having Improbulator in the opener. No, no Teemo. Um, yeah, I don't I don't think the deep is that good. I haven't seen many people playing it. Um, that's my guess. I don't know. Ouch. So basically I could turn fervor into three mana three damage decimate instead of five mana four damage decimate. I guess I give them three puff caps as well. It doesn't really seem worth it. They're not going to gain any life from that Grasp of the Undying. Wish our deck had some card draw. We're really good against 
against units, as you can tell. But against a deck that just plays like some removal and some ramp, and we just have removal, we don't get to really do anything. Okay, now we're talking, Chumplump. Put on me mask, secure me tail, start the day. We fight for one frail yard. All right, Mystic Shot. Ravenous Flock. So I can give them the five puff caps now, which I think I'm going to just do. Giving them the puff caps now, I mean, it's just more more cards they're going to draw. Um, obviously, like, if we had a Peddler, and I knew we'd have a Peddler, I'd wait, but we've already had one Peddler die. Yeah, well, they got to draw the puff cap, but then we drew a Peddler. I'm very glad to draw the Peddler, but I'm sad that I, I cast it, but it still worked. They drew that puff cap right there. Um, so this is deal three right now. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. Now oh, it's deal four. Right? If they have avalanche, I'm going to have my fervor kill their thing. Uh. Pay dead. I think I just give my the Sumpworks map to like this Chumplump. And I kind of want to do it right now because I want to give them the three puff caps right now. Yeah, try to be miserably fun card, isn't it? Deal four damage and summon a random four cost unit right now. That's pretty sweet. Oh no! RR. All right, taking the four down to seven. There we go. So I hope everybody Saturday's going pretty good. All right, they just got some more ramp in. Um, I mean, I want to play the Swain, but then I don't have, like, any other cards available. Like, I also want to be able to re I want to be able to respond with Noxion Fervor to, like, Grasp the Undying. Or to that thing. Alright, so are we going to kill... Oh, let's see, so they're, they're gonna have, like, ten mana, like, either way. Let's just go upstairs with the damage. Progulator's at five. Unseen, unheard. Yeah, like, so I guess if I kill this thing, yeah, they'd still have 10 mana, even if I kill that thing. So I don't need to kill this. So I could do five damage to a Lunari Shadestalker. I mean, I know that thing can block right now, but we'll see. We'll see. For the thrill of battle, victory awaits. All right, maybe I am killing the T three. I do need to be worried about atrocity. They grow up so fast. <laughs> no. It is a summon, but I don't have any 5 plus power things. Who would face me? Awesome. I will break them. So that's going to stun one thing. We'll do this to stun the other Trindamir. Merely 
pawn in a greater game. Oh, that's what my play did did not play around that. That's how it is. I guess I should have just gone right to attacks, I guess. So hopefully they draw three puff caps. This is not damaged or stunned like Ravenous Flock, so I can't just use this on a Trindomir. I could save it. I mean, I could save it and kill a Trindomir afterwards with the Mystic Shot. Right, like these will both be the 10 10s. I could kill one with Mystic Shotting one and then Guillotine. Oh, the other one just levels up and then that. Oh, well then, then I guess I probably should have done that. Oh, well, draw three puff caps. I thought they were just going to have lethal either way, even if I killed one because of like War Mother's Call putting something into play right away. So I thought they were going to have the two. I didn't really realize that I was going to kill the second one. Yeah, that is weird. I've never, I've never seen that happen before. Just never been in that scenario. They did not draw any puff caps, and that card didn't have a puff cap on it. Hey, Teddy. Welcome from YouTube. <laughs> welcome, welcome. All right, one and one. My opponent never decides to attack. Finally. So yeah, I definitely should have just saved my Mystic Shot, killed that other Trindomir. I just don't really love the fleeting copies. That's my biggest problem with Hush. Uh, let's see. Kind of want to keep Leviathan in a Swain Mirror. Let's keep one Leviathan. Let's do it. All right, got House Spider. I'm not gonna Mystic Shot yet. I'm gonna get the Peddler in play first before I start casting spells so we can get some Puff Caps. Have a mushroom. Have three. All right, so they don't use one of their mana. I guess maybe I should have just Mystic Shot the House Spider in response to that, and then I would have five mana exactly for th for Thermogenic Beam. But I don't know, then they just play a Pale Cascade. And then that's kind of rough. I have two Doggos. Harvey and Puppy. Puppy is sitting right here in the chair with me. I my can I see her right here. She's sitting right here in the chair. And then Harvey's behind me right now. So I want to cast that mystic shot before our peddler goes away. Last light. Leona plus Ravenous Flock, pretty nice. Gives you another uh, another cart combo with Ravenous Flock, so you have Sentry and Leona. Yeah, that card's really nice, too. With both the champions. So there's Wayne's at 10. Mine's only at 6. Fear the power. Not... 7 damage, so can't uh, do something to level up their Swain. 
Like, even, th even if they do level up Swain, then Swain's only at, still at 7, so we'd still be killing it. <laughs> How How's Deep been treating you, Violent? How's it been treating you in this metagame? I think we already did this, didn't we? So, instant replay? No, Bastion! Ouch. Bleed for Noxus. Yeah, that's pretty good. Witness strength. I will break them. Empire above all! Gonna be a little rough. They play enough that they have a Leviathan as well. Prepare the cargo. There is no excess when victory is at stake. Like if they also just go Leviathan, that's gonna be rough. Or thermogenic beam to kill my Leviathan, anything like that. Hey, Pobin. Daylight breaks on the battlefield. Bask in the light's radiance. Yeah, they're drawing their champions really well. At two Leonas and two Swains. I am planning on playing Swain, but I kind of want them to do stuff first. Alright, so that stuns my Leviathan. My Swain's not a surprise. So obviously, we, we grabbed it from the Leviathan. They saw us get it from the from the Leviathan. Pass, pass, pass. Don't use nine mana. Just pass. Just pass. Don't use any mana. No. Okay. Okay. That's that's them not killing these things. That's that's cool. Um, they're gonna probably have some amazing celestial card. It's gonna be something that costs seven or more. That part's not cool. Try beams at two. Um, let's go this so we can draw a card. I'll just kill this one one, I guess. I could do one damage to one of these three things, but <clears throat> just gonna do one damage to them. Awesome, stun that thing. Puff caps, puff caps. Alright, our Leviathan Swain combo. Looking good. Double stun to that 10 10, that's important. Gotta double stun that. And there we go! Alright, GG's. They had all these champions, but Leviathan was better. I forgot to change my camera uh, settings. Some more Trundle. All right, same thing we want, Teemo and Puffcat Peddler. Awesome. Those are the cards we want. The Targon version struggles a lot more killing Teemo. The Shadow Isles version kills Teemo a lot easier. So, you know, like, we're not guaranteed to, to hit with Teemo, but we're going to force them to have that removal spell. I hope they don't. Awesome. Nothing escapes my watch. 
Awesome. In Avarosa's name. Hopefully no avalanche. Okay. No avalanche. It's not yet. Of course, doing this first because if they don't have removal, like now they can't use like vile feast. Awesome. Level up this Teemo. All right, great. Get them to 42 pup caps on turn four. It's about to be on turn four. So what does have the rash? I'll tell you when you're taller. Um. Hmm. I'm just one damage away from killing the Thresh, aren't I? The Thermogenic Beam doesn't do it. You know, this doesn't do it. So I'm passing. I'm hoping they attack with the Babbling Bjerg also. Okay. And we get to block Babbling Bjerg. They'd still have Thresh that can block my Swain. They still have Thresh that blocks Swain. Is it worth playing Swain and then going right to attacks? Swain would take three. I guess so. Not too surprised by that. They should thank you for more pump caps. I need some more of those. This Avarosan Sentry, of course, is pretty good for me because it's gonna, you know, it's gonna die and it's gonna draw cards. So that's that's kind of good for me. I don't know, I hate, I hate just wasting all this mana, and I want to play a spell to give them more pup caps. It's like there's like a lot of reasons to give them spells. Oh, come on. They drew zero pup caps? Well, that's not great. I guess I should have killed Weirding Stones. right now. Their time has come. There they go. No need to attack. Yeah, there you go. Good. Alright, deal four to that. I get a four cost thing. My Swain's leveled up. Not the best four cost thing. Just a three three. There are some pop caps. Of course we don't have like any burst speed damage. So they got fifty three puff caps with those twenty seven cards. They are not drawing very many of those pup caps, though. Just one. 
All right, well, the onus is on them to, to play something to gain life. Whenever they play something to gain life, I'll Mystic Shot in response. All right, that's not going to... They only have three mana left, so they can, what, like... Play, like, a Vile Feast or something. We'll have that also. All right, GG's. There you go, Swain. Three and one. We have done what is needed. Now we got Leona Aurelian Soul. <laughs> We're just playing a, a combination of like trun Trundles and Leonas, Aurelian Souls. Just all these decks going big. That's what we got with this metagame. We got... Alright, perfect. We got Teemo, turn one. Again, mulligan to everything looking for Teemo, because this again is just a deck going big. Right? And so like these decks that are going big, we want to try to go under them with the Teemo. We had some good success there that last game, having leveled up Teemo Strike on one turn four. This game we're looking at maybe level up Teemo on turn five, striking up the babies. We can. It's not gonna be turn three, we can't level this up. This Improbulator is looking like it could be big. Okay, not the challenger. Oh, could talk. I'll have what he's having. Yeah, everyone else is zigging, we're zagging. Right out. Exactly. Have a mushroom. Have three. I've heard about you. So we're at ten out of fifteen Daylight right now. Warms the heart and lights the way. Proud warriors of the sun's true light. Have a mushroom. This is a really good draw, because even if they single combat and kill my Teemo, as long as they don't do it during combat, I can play a new Teemo. I, I clicked the wrong one. I meant to do the Teemo one. That's the one I meant to do. Sorry. Okay, so we are going to be leveling up our Teemo. Let's see. So they're at nine right now. Kind of want to cast this Mushroom Cloud, but maybe it's not worth it. So let's see, this one would be 5 plus 9, so it would be 14 more Puff Caps, and then we double it up, so it's 28 Puff Caps if I cast this card right now. I don't know, is it worth 28 Puff Caps? Probably worth, alright, worth 28. The thing is, it's just if they kill this Teemo, I'd really want another Teemo. Behind it. Alright, they got 64 now. Alright, gonna stun that. Upon them. And then we're gonna be killing this thing, so we're gonna face god's gonna block whatever. Like if they would have attacked with the lifesteal, it would have blocked the lifesteal. But that we're gonna stun that. Uh now we're gonna kill this thing, so they don't have a blocker for Teemo. Man, let's try beam improbulators at six. <laughs> Oh, that's so much. Slippery. No. Witness 
Divinity. I guess I could have done that three damage upstairs. I don't know. I think it's I think it's probably safest to just get rid of the four three life steal. Yeah, I think that's the safest. Yeah, we still have our three peddlers. And probably is doing seven damage right now. <clears throat> the problem with this ravenous flock is it does turn on um the six mana spell, Remembrance. If they have Remembrance, it does turn on Remembrance. Darn it. I was just hoping they didn't have Remembrance. Draw those puff caps. <laughs> My seven drop is a they who endure. <laughs> oh, it could be better. That could be better. My pretty. All right, the doggos are excited about something. All right, all right, so it's my turn, and they're at 94 puff caps. So they're at a couple. I mean, I'm thinking that we're going to be killing them the next turn with the puff caps. My faith protects me. Uh, yeah, might as well just pass, or might as well just attack. I don't want them to get the Radiant Guardian, right? So I guess I shouldn't... Because hmm. they'd have to single combat here. I guess they could still have another single combat and a Radiant Guardian. Star shaping. All right. Well, I'm kind of glad I attacked, kind of, to put pressure on them. But yeah, I don't know if we're going to be doing. We're not going. They're not going to be drawing that many puff caps. So both of our peddlers are dead. No, I'm. I'm not really glad we attacked. Yeah, star shaping. Going to help save them. Alright, so they have 100 puff caps, 27 cards. You know, basically four puff caps, puff caps per card. We need them to draw six, so we need them to get a little unlucky here with this draw. Come on, draw six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two. Two. It's not six. <laughs> they average four puff caps a card. The Lee Sin changes were good. Yeah, Lee, Sin, Lee Sin's looking pretty good. What do you think of Lee Sin, puppy? Clad in shining sunlight. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's not quite game, almost game.
Devotion through battle! Burn away doubt! Hopefully not game. All right, four puff caps per card. Draw the puff caps. Ow, oh, three. Ah, we're so close. 60, <laughs> 61 out of 12. It's gotta be a win next turn, right? They gotta draw this last one. Warriors of the Raharat, our time is now. We'll follow you to the edge of daybreak. Sunlight guiding, my brethren. Come on, Puff Cap. Yes, there's the one. Man, still only three. Still drew less than average on all of those. Whew, that was close. No, there's no reason to place Wayne. Alright, four and one. There we go. There's our Teemo Swain control. Tribe and Probulator is just pretty cool. We didn't get like anything uh, special off of those Tribe and Probulators. You know, like our seven drop was just a 3-3. A three, three. Our five drop was just a 4-3. And our with um, the Trifarian Assessor, uh, the seven dropping the They Who Endure, and then the um, the the four drop we had was just a generic three three with Chronicler of Ruin. So we didn't hit very well, but we made some really sweet Tribeam and Probulators. Um, Swain would not have stopped an open attack because of their elusive anyway. So basically, I, I just wasn't playing. I wasn't playing the Swain because I didn't want them to like fight and have one of their things die and then be able to play a Radiant Guardian. I basically just didn't want, I want to shut off their opportunity to, to have a Radiant Guardian. So I wasn't playing a Swain because the only way I could possibly win was the Puff Caps. All right, but anyway, yeah, Triple Peddler. Peddler is just awesome. We had Triple Peddler to go along with Teemo. That was really cool. Um, so yeah, I mean, we, we played against a lot of decks that are going bigger and... Um, if that's the format, if, if we're playing, if there's just a lot of decks going bigger, this is a good way to go, because then that means the games are going longer. So the longer the games, the better it is for the puff caps. Um, winning on puff caps is always so satisfying too. So if you want to, um, if you want to just win on puff caps, um, that's the, you know, just have really satisfying wins. This is a, a good way to do it. Um, yeah, against deep, uh, you want to try to wait if you can before, like maybe like after they after they burn a bunch of their cards and they're you know down to like their fifteen cards. You can like you know you're like playing your chump lumps before, but then you can like drop your peddler and then drop like all your mushroom clouds and try to give them a whole bunch of puff caps on their on their like remaining cards. That's kind of the goal there. Um, but uh, yeah. I had success with I've had success with like the Nightfall Teemo against Deep because the Nightfall deck has like Pale Cascade and can protect Teemo a little bit better. You definitely want two two Teemo against Deep because they have all the things that do one damage, but they also have like the challengers and stuff, so you gotta watch out for that. Alright, but anyway, that's Teemo Swain Control. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the deck. Um, anything else, what do you want to see on, on the stream? Um, just any kind of feedback about the stream or just uh, the game. What are you playing that you're having a lot of fun with? Anything like that. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.